Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. I'm recording this video on the day that the Diffuse Blue Jordan 11 Lows dropped. I grabbed a pair from Finish Line, and I think they look great. I want to get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Jordan 11 Lows in the Diffuse Blue colorway. It really seems like it's feast or famine. It felt like for the longest time we weren't getting anything really from the Jordan brand. And now every single week, every Saturday, it seems like they're giving us something really decent in my opinion. I know a lot of people are calling these bricks and everything else, but I think they've been releasing some really good looking pairs. Again, I think this is a great looking colorway. The Jordan 11 silhouette is about as classic as can be. I know a lot of people don't really get down with the lows as much. We can see that the box is color coordinated to the shoe. It looks like we have like a dark blue lid, but it almost has like a Carolina blue jump man on there or university blue. I suppose that's diffused blue. It's got the Air Jordan branding and the jump man there on the top. The base of the box is that grayish blue color or the diffused blue color. The box is similar to other 11 boxes, but the colors just match the shoe. The tag reads Air Jordan 11 Retro Low, and the colors are labeled as white and midnight navy. So it doesn't even have diffused blue on the tag, although that's what everybody has been referring to these as i grabbed these from my local finish line i used status rewards to get 20 bucks off i think retail price was 190 us dollars i got 20 dollars off of that all in i'm right around 180 us dollars but i think these are going for well below retail on the resale market right now and enough yapping about that box i think these are so clean looking there's something about that shade of blue that just looks phenomenal on this silhouette. Of course, everybody knows what to expect whenever we get a Jordan 11 low. Even though there's a whole lot of hype for Jordan 11s, it seems like a lot of the 11 lows just kind of get passed on by a lot of people, and I can get that, but I think this is a very good looking pair of shoes. I do kind of wish that they would have released these earlier in the summer. Even though it's hot right now, it is at that time of year where it's starting to cool down. This morning when I had my son at soccer practice, I was actually chilly out there and right now I'm starting to sweat. But I don't think this is a colorway that I would wear once the weather starts cooling down, mainly because of the material that we have on this upper. It's all a bright white, and once that gets dirty, it's over with. There's no cleaning these up. I know a lot of times you'll see people doing those videos on YouTube of they'll take like busted looking shoes and they'll use rejuvenator or whatever and they'll give them a scrub and then they look brand new but i'm telling you once you get this dirty on this upper you're going to have a stain on the shoes i promise unless you know some hidden secret that i don't know about i do think these things look great but they even have like a summer look to me just all that bright white and then that nice blue just something about these makes me think like summer vibes so as we're getting close to the fall time i don't know if this was the best time to drop this pair but that being said, I think for the nice weather, whenever it's hot outside and there's no rain forecasted and you're not on like dirt roads or anything like that, I think this is a very clean and classic looking pair of kicks. I love the look of this outsole. We have this milky white translucent rubber. Another reason why I think they should have given this to us earlier in the year is just because I don't see myself wearing these like this summer. I think I would probably pack these up and save them for next year whenever it gets warm. And if I don't throw these on feet until next year, I'm pretty sure that that rubber on the outsole would already start to yellow a little bit. And once that happens, I don't know how clean these shoes would look after that. Whether it yellows or not, I do think this is an awesome looking outsole. I love the way you see that jump man peeking through there at the midfoot. And we also have that carbon fiber plate there at the midfoot as well. Under the forefoot and the heel, we have these little traction pads where it's just herringbone traction. And that is in that diffuse blue color 
I just think it looks very classic. It really looks cool. It still looks futuristic, even though it came out over 20 years ago. As we come up to the midsole, we can see that that milky translucent rubber meets a bright white midsole. It's got that same kind of texture that we always get on Jordan 11s, whether it's a low or a high. It's really like just a fine, fine checkered pattern. It's pretty much what we always get. As we come to the upper of the shoe, this is without a doubt my favorite thing about this pair. I think that this diffuse blue looks so good on that patent leather running along the base and it actually looks very, very nice. Like it doesn't look cheap. Sometimes patent leather not only looks cheap, but it feels cheap, but it actually looks really nice. It's not all wavy and it doesn't look warped or anything. And it actually has a nice feel for patent leather. I love that overlay of patent leather that we have circling the whole base of the shoe. And really, as soon as you see that, there's no mistaking that you're looking at a Jordan 11. For the base of the shoe, it's the exact same material that we would expect on a Jordan 11, whether it's a low or a high. It's just a mesh. I think some people call it a ballistic mesh, but it's some type of mesh. It's in a bright white material. It almost feels like a nylon or like a polyester material, but it's all bright white. Even the tongue is that bright white mesh. As always, we have these canvas strips that go up the sides of the shoe and then they loop and that's what makes our lacing system but it also just gives the upper of this shoe a really neat shape it's almost like it gives it a skeleton much like the 12s have the stitching that runs up the side i just like how this makes it a little bit more interesting looking we have our Jumpman jordan tag here on the middle of the tongue it looks like it's got a black jump man on there and the Jumpman Jordan font looks like it's in a gray color. It's kind of hard to see. They gave us white rope style laces in this pair and I think they look great. I can't imagine putting anything else in there. On the back of the shoe, just underneath of this patent leather overlay, we have like a synthetic leather overlay and that's white. And that has a little Jumpman on there. It looks like that's a darker blue color. And then I always love the 23 in this font that you associate with 11s as well. Just how it's real boxy looking. Our sock liner has a little bit of a silky feel to it, but it's in that nice diffused blue color. And then our insole is diffused blue and it's got a white jump man down on it. But that was a pretty quick look at these Jordan 11 lows in the diffused blue colorway. I think these are a beautiful pair of kicks. I wish they would have dropped a little bit earlier in the summertime. That being said, I don't think you have to be in a rush to go out and grab these. I think if you're patient, you'll probably be able to get these for an even better deal than what they're available for right now. Next week, we'll be seeing the White Thunder 4s drop, and I will definitely be trying to grab a pair of those. Let me know if you're going to grab a pair of them or if there's anything else you've got your eye on. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.